In this video, I'll talk about digital input cards that are found in PLC systems. We will discuss what they are used for and the typical wiring schematics you will come across. Digital inputs are a frequent I.O. card that you will find in PLCs. They act as an interface between a whole host of input instrumentation in the field to the PLC controller in our controller and equipment rooms. They can be connected to any instrumentation or devices that open or close a contact. Some of the common types of inputs you'll find are pressure, temperature, level and flow switches that are attached to process systems, limit switches for equipment or valves, push buttons that may be used for shutdown inputs, e-stops, enunciator controls, as well as motor control buttons. Basically, anytime you need a human interface for an action, a push button wired into a digital input can be used. Let's talk about the characteristics of a digital input. The most common control voltage for a digital input is 24 volts DC, but you'll often find other more obscure variants. Always look at the specification sheets for your specific system. Digital input cards are usually multi-channeled and are usually found in 8 or 16 channel formats. This means that each card can have multiple channels and each one of those channels can be connected to a different field device. Okay. Let's look at the typical wiring configuration you'll find in a modern PLC for a digital input. Here we have our input card. It could be powered by the back plane that will connect it to the controller and other IO devices, or it might have terminations for the positive 24 volts and zero volts connection. Our field device, in this case a switch, will be connected via cabling that is terminated into the panel where the PLC is housed. For this example, we will have a simple one pair cable. In reality, you'll often find field equipment connected via multi-core cables. We would then run 24 volts from the same source as our digital input card supply down one of the wires, through the device, and back on the other pair and connect through internal patch wiring into our input card. When our switch's contact opens and closes, it puts 24 volts on and off the input card channels and thus gives a condition change within the PLC controller. Some systems will be set up with an interposing relay to separate field and panel voltages. This is to prevent field shorts interfering with the cabinet wiring that could lead to damage to the equipment. You might also find input barriers are used where the field equipment is in a hazardous area. In large systems, a common wiring configuration is via the use of breakout connectors. These allow a whole input card to have its termination points in an adjacent panel to the PLC inputs. This is used for segregation from PLC devices to field wiring. I hope this gives you a better understanding of what digital inputs are and what exactly they're used for. If you enjoyed the video, then please remember to like the video, subscribe, and comment down below what you'd like to see more.